Hello. Um, in this um, video, we will learn how to use property of a logarithmic function to um, uh, evaluate um, some expression. Um, so let's review here the product group for a logarithm we have here. If we have log of m times n together like this, so we can split it to log um, base b of m and plus log base b of n. And the quotient rule is um, if you have locks up a quotient, you can split it to the difference. That means you take locks by m of by base b of m and then subtract locks by b of n. You can split like that. And uh, if you have a lock um, base b of m raised to the power n, you can kick number n in front and then you write that part. So the process is due from number one to three right here, all the three property here, due from left to right, they call expand uh, logarithmic expression. And if you apply backward, go from right to the left, that call condensed logarithmic expression. So depend on the question, sometimes we expand, sometimes we um, compress them. Uh, and then one more, Sometimes you cannot evaluate the log um, because some calculator doesn't have different base. They could have most of the time they have base 10 uh, or base 2 if they have that formatted for you, um, or log with the base E, um, but sometimes they don't have like log base 3. So in that case, you're going to use this formula called the chain base formula of logarithms to um, evaluate. So um, you're going to choose whatever base here. So most of the time we use the base 10 um, or natural log because both of them have on the most calculator. And then we just split the top, the end right here, go on top. I think these go into the bottom. Um, so that to do that part. So let's use um, these rules to do this problem right here first. So this is a combination of um, the other rule. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna rewrite this one um, in the form that we get familiar with. So we're gonna do uh, lock right here, lock first. Uh, we're gonna try um, lock. And then uh, I'm gonna do over here, that could be um, A um, to the power four. And then that whole thing, um, I would divide it by um, square root of b. So instead, write square root of b because over here we don't have any rule using square root. So you, what you're going to do here, you're going to uh, rewrite it as exponent. So you're going to do over here, that will be b raised to the power, I'm sorry, big uh, b and raised to the power um, um, half, right? Uh, so one over two, you can write like that. Yeah. So let me put in the normal way for you to See how did the thing work here first? Let's we'll take a look at this one first. Um, like that. And you have that way, right? So now when it's like this, so you see that I can use rule number two. That means um, lock up a quotient, I can split it to lock right here. Um, so when they write the one with no base right here, that means base 10. So I can write it here lock. Um, and then um, I can write um, you this right here, the rule right here, divide, so I'm gonna subtract. So over here, I will have, that would be A um, raised to the power of four, and then I will subtract uh, log um, of B, and then raised to the power half. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Right. So let me put in the normal way for you to see um, on that part. Yes, it's gonna be like that. Right. Oh, this one has to be big B right here. Let me change it to big B. Yeah. Okay. So now we see that here we have log to the power, right? So we're gonna use rule number three. So any number in front, I kick it front because the reason that you give us here, they don't give any power. So we have to go keep going further. So that could be equal to, um, so I can write that we equal to the four, I kick in front. So I have four and then log. Um, a, right, and then um, the half here go in front, so minus half, right, and then log b, right, so half that. So I'm going to rewrite um, 
using rule number three in here to get that part right there. Yes. So now with this, I can replace here. Okay. So log A would be equal to. So therefore, I have over here, I replace a half four and then I time two. Yes. And then minus half and then time log B, which you want. So over here, I time one. If you fast, you can go right away, no problem. Uh, but I'm gonna write everything so that you can see in here, right? So I'm gonna have this one would be like this, right? So you can simplify this here. So I have, this one would be um, four times two, that equal eight, yes? And then minus half, huh? Um, so that means minus 0 0.5. So make it that easy for you to see that one. So you subtract this one would be equal to 7.5. So I have the answer right here. Um, 7.5, yeah. Right, so that would be the answer for that part. If I submit, I should have the right answer for this part right here. Now continue that, do part B. Uh, part B for this one, we're gonna continue it here. So we have part B, I do the same thing. So I gonna write over here, that would be um, part two right here. So I write log. So this multiply, right? So I'm gonna use rule number one. So that means I'm gonna add right here. So I'm gonna write log of uh, B and then plus uh, log of C to the power five, right? Uh, so that I rewrite that um, in that sense, yeah? And then so uh, log B, I already have the answer. So I can put it right in a little way. That is one, huh? And then over here, log c to the five is the fifth power or here they give us log to c only so therefore you kick the pi in front so plus uh phi and then uh log uh base c i mean log log c right so that's equal to so i have one and then plus phi and then i time log c over here it just uh negative eight yes so multiply that together so I have one minus 40 so the answer would be equal to negative 39. Yeah. So that's how I use the um, these property to solve, I mean, to evaluate um, these expression using what given right here. I submit, I should have the right answer. Yes. 